Bruh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that'd be bad. Like, bruh. Come Ooh. on, dog. Like, man. Yeah. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy KP coming back at y'all another video. This video ain't gonna be the best one. This ain't no good video, man. Like, I'm honestly, I'm sick right now. Cause I've been waiting on this shoe for so long. Like, bro, I'm talking about so long. Finally got it. Get it in the mail. And the worst, like when I say, probably my worst nightmare from Nike. Like, I've never, I've been seeing it, and I'm pretty sure y'all have too, man. Y'all been seeing everybody getting their um, lost and found ones, and everybody's talking about how their pairs are molded the whole nine. And I'm like, man, my pair not gonna come like that. I ain't never had no pair come like that. So it's like, it ain't gonna happen to me. Man, I'm just gonna, let's just get into the review, man. So. Got the box in, got the package in. I'm like, man, let me take a little sneak peek. I just wanna see what they looking like before uh, before I get out of review, because I've been waiting on this shoe, man. So, I open them up. And lo and behold, mold. All on my shoe. Like, literally mold all over the back. Like Nike, what y'all got going on, man? Like, I know it's not that bad, but if we paying money for these shoes, man, we should not be having to deal with mold and all of this stuff all on our shoes. Like this should not be an issue. And I don't know what's, I don't, I have no clue what the condition is. Like I don't know if it's just Nike got something going on in the factory with the shipping, or I don't know. It just doesn't make sense as to why we are paying money for shoes and they come and mold it. Beautiful shoe. Literally my shoe of the year. A lot of people's shoe of the year. And we gotta deal with this. Like, like bro, look at that. That's disgusting, bro. It's literally on the inside of the shoe. Like, what? Come on, dog. Like, oh man, I'm sick, but we're just going to get into the review, so you already saw the shoe, but just to get y'all a full in-depth review of my moldy Chicago, LA, whatever you want to call them, man, the, I don't even know at this point, like, but y'all see we got that retro looking Jordan 1 box. As y'all know, with the um, Lost and Founds, it's literally like the whole story behind it is like you going through the garage, whatever, you find these Jordan 1s at a mom and pop shop, whatever. So you end up finding it vintage looking. Like it's like you found a 1985 pair, man. So you do got your orange Nike top, like a little mix match box. Then you got your Jordan. Kind of like the regular Jordan one. Bottom. Just got like a little replacement lid. Um, this joint crazy, man. These joints go hard. So I do got that like age box. Y'all do see that. I did pick these up in a size 11. Um, yeah, I wear a size 11, 11 and a half in these. As far as the sticker, it's crazy because these actually, like you could dang near like peel these off like the little cell stickers that's hard i like that a lot but flipping open the box you got your little quality uh you got your stamp and you got your sticker you got that nike with that swoosh and then on the paper kind of got like that old newspaper look just like it was man it's crazy like for jordan one 29 29.99 Back in the day, 1985, like, bruh, 
You know how much, man, these joints back in the day was going for a, for a lick. Regular, regular price, $65. Now we paying, what, one, 185, 170 something. And he's going for like 400 right now. Like, bro, we paying crazy price compared to what they was paying. But yeah, all those details all over. That's hard. Just like that. So yeah, you got all your all your details on the paper. Then you got your white paper. Then you got these moldy ones. I'm sick, dog. But outside of the mold, the shoe is actually good. It's actually a pretty good shoe. Um, you got that varsity red. Um, you do got that crack, that crack like vintage looking leather, like as the leather's cracking. Um, it is like that sail color. Y'all done seen a bunch of reviews on these, man. Y'all know what they look like. We do got that sail tongue too. It's not the actual pure white. Um, Crack leather on its on the toe. So yeah, I'm sick about this man. I'm gonna clean them up. I might clean them up. Well, I, I gotta clean them up before I do it on feet. So I'm definitely gonna do that. It shouldn't be hard. I ain't trying to touch it. I'm just gonna clean it. But yeah, man. Quick little overview. They do come with the like a sail lace, and they do come with a black lace too. This is bad, man. I'm, I'm just getting sick every time I look at it, man. Like, this joint is disgusting. Yeah, hey, you do got that wing look on the side. And overall, great shoe. It's just the fact that they couldn't control what they were doing with the with all of this shipping and all of this stuff, man. This is just disgusting, bro. And you do got that, uh, you got that red. Or the white Nike Air on the red tab. Inside. Yeah, man. I ain't really trying to touch them too much. I'm trying to just get them clean. Y'all do see on the outside, too. Outside, it does have, like, that age. That aged outsole. I think uh, another shoe that came like this, like the Nautilus Investors. Those came like this as well, so. Yeah my shoe of the year man and then once we take these moldy shoes out the box we do get uh let me show y'all the other pair real quick man the other pair is like like bro like, come on dog all on the inside of the shoe all in there man that's killing me bro so one other thing that I did like about this shoe it does come with like the old, like the old little sticker or like the little receipt. From Mom and Pop shops. You got the Sandy Bros Sports Depot. Um, they got all your stuff right there. So I see pay. Um, and then the date on here, you got 8-30-1986. So yeah, man, that's pretty much how it is as far as the overview on those. Um, I'm gonna actually clean these up real quick because this is like completely disgusting. And then I'm gonna throw them on feet, let y'all see how I wear them on feet, give y'all like a little look. I'm disgusted, man. Like, bruh, of all shoes to come moldy, of all shoes, why I gotta be these? Of all shoes, why I have to be these? But. Hey man, look, just drop in the comments and let me know if y'all's pairs came over. If they did, what did y'all do about it? Did y'all contact Nike? For me, I'm not even gonna contact Nike. I'm not gonna waste my time because I'm not sending the shoes back. I'm not getting no money back. Like, I'm just gonna clean them, keep it pushing, and just hope that it don't happen again. Hopefully they figure out what they got going on. Hopefully they figure this out and fix it. I don't know. They gotta do something, but um, yeah, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more videos if you haven't already. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. Um, also, if you haven't already, if you into the cars and all that, make sure y'all go over to my car channel, Do You Hit Me 392. I do have it on my channel, so you just go in there. Um, 
and type it in or just go to my channel y'all see it it's already right there a link channel so go to that subscribe to that run that up too um but till next time man y'all enjoy the own feet we gone all right, and just a quick little update for y'all before we get into the on feet, man. I did end up getting it off. Um, all I did was just hit it with the crap. I got some crap cleaner. So, hit it with some crap. Um, everything good now. So, it is easy to get off. Um, but one thing I will say, just be careful because this red does bleed. Um, it did get a little bit right there. Says so the water's getting in the leather. Um, it does soak in there. And you see it kind of runs a little bit. So definitely be careful when y'all cleaning these. Because, yeah, that red does bleed. But, all right, man. That's it. Stay tuned for the on feet.